Hi everybody, my name is Nathan O'Connor with Rio Temp and today we're at AgriService in Oceanside, California and I'm here with Alex and uh, we're going to do a demonstration of how the OxyTemp works. So the OxyTemp probe, it's a combination of both an oxygen probe and then also a temperature probe. So you get two readings at the same time and with the oxygen sampling, you're going to use a plunger to pull up and press down that sample. There's two positions, you've got your sampling position and then also a clean out position. So if it gets clogged, you can then flush that clogged tip back out and go uh, back to sampling. So with that, uh, Alex, would you give us a demonstration? Absolutely. So uh, like you said, I, first thing I'd normally do, just uh, clean the tip out in case I went to a, a pile previous to that, I want to clean that out. Mm -hmm. Once I do that, I can put it back into the sampling position. I like to slowly do a couple of pumps just to get that oxygen in there, get the, the reading. So this first couple, you're just kind of cleaning out the existing air. And then on the third one, the fourth one, you're getting a, a better idea of what the actual reading is going to be. Correct. Okay. So it looks like we're at about 15.6% oxygen. And as that air is moving down and kind of slowly across the sensor, that's when you're going to get that reading. So you can see how Alex did a, a nice job of moving the plunger down slowly, it makes a solid flow of air across this oxygen sensor and then back out. And that's what's going to give you your good, accurate oxygen reading. So looks like you guys have a, a lot of oxygen in there. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice, healthy pile of so. stone. Very nice. All right, well, thanks, Alex. Okay, so Mary, you guys got one of our OxyTemp probes about four years ago? Correct. Okay, and has the OxyTemp been something that, uh, did you have an OxyTemp probe before the OxyTemp? No, we didn't. And and what we were interested in doing was, was as we were looking at designing a new facility, that we would have forced aeration into our windrow piles to help control odor. We were really interested in doing some studies where we get quick readings on how much oxygen we needed to have in our windrows under our conditions with mm -hmm. our feedstocks to to help mitigate any malodorous compounds when we we're turning so nice. so we found that the oxy temp was ideal for us because it was reasonably priced easy to use and almost completely trouble free i mean we we right. never had a problem with it okay so as you made that transition to positive aeration this helped you to sample it, understand how the oxygen was coming up into the pile and, and really kind of maximize the, the process? Exactly. And what we found when we looked at different kinds of oxygen probes is that there's a tendency to want to put a, a stationary probe inside one of the windrows. And in talking to other operators all over the country, we found that, that there was a failure rate eventually with those. And and so instead of having an automated system, we really feel it's important to go out with a handheld probe and look at all the other factors that are important in producing compost, how much moisture's in the pile, mm -hmm. um, whether or not we smell anything coming from the pile that we need to be concerned about. And, and you can't do that with an automated probe, but we can do that when we take our daily temperatures. Great. What was it that uh, originally made you guys want to get an OxyTemp probe? So we needed a way of quickly assessing the amount of oxygen that was inside our windrows. And, and the reason that that's important to a compost facility is the amount of oxygen is really related to the amount of odor that is produced when we turn piles. And so what we, what we want to do is make sure that we have sufficient oxygen to make sure that all of the organisms, microorganisms that are involved in the decomposition process are ones that aren't producing those smelly, uh -huh. smelly gases. So what we found with the, when we were first doing experiments with adding air to the pile with force positive aeration was, was that we were trying different feedstocks, different moisture levels, different amounts of air we were pushing into the pile and how we could personally assess the odor when it when um when we turned it and we found that under our conditions and i'm not saying it's anybody else's conditions everybody mm -hmm. has to do their own their own testing but under our conditions if we keep the oxygen over 10 percent 
and we measure that with the oxy temp, if we can keep it over 10%, we don't have the kinds of malodorous compounds that are drifting off during during turning and screening. And I imagine the, the odors with your facility and with all facilities, that can be a major issue with some of the surrounding residents or uh, with the city. So odor's a, a big issue? O odor is, is uh, odor is, is one of the two big issues with with facilities and and being able to control odor is is really really important to having the neighbors accept the facility so it's, it's probably the number one reason compost facilities are shut down so was this something where you used the oxygen probe more in the beginning and then eventually you started to understand what the compost was going to do so you didn't need to use it as much how did that right we we use the oxygen probe a lot in the beginning and the reason we did that was so that we could better understand how our how our operations and our and our management practices affected the amount of oxygen inside the inside the windrows so now we have it pretty down and we we make sure that we test all the windrows in six different places once a week just to make sure we're, we don't have any clogged um, aeration channels okay Great. Yeah, it seems like uh, you're getting lots of oxygen in there, so uh, you guys are, are doing a good job with it. Uh, all right. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up for the OxyTemp. And uh, thanks again, Mary. Thank you, Alex, for letting us uh, check your compost and demonstrate how the OxyTemp works.